Hi, welcome to the part four. We are looking at real questions from the past on DP203 Azure Data Engineering. This is the YouTube handle of this channel. You can look for 650 plus videos on cloud certifications, majorly AWS, Google Cloud, Azure, Snowflake. If you have not yet subscribed, do so. It will help you stay tuned to the latest certification content. So parts two and three have been uploaded for Cloud Ninja members, not Cloud Kernel members. Only for Cloud Ninja members because this is an advanced certification. You can use the link in the description and become a Cloud Ninja member. So here you have two characters, Synapse and Data Lake Storage. Okay, so that means uh, any query you fire in Synapse Analytics using the files stored in Data Lake Storage. So Data Lake Storage files will act as external tables. External tables. Now, do you see the word external tables in the question? Yes, we see this. We see this. We see this. We see this. But there are two options which make use of native external tables. And there are two options which make use of Apache Hadoop external tables. So I would first try to understand the difference between native tables and Apache Hadoop external table. So native tables, what happens is the data is there in the file in, in the storage and it gets loaded inside Synapse. It becomes a native table for it. Okay. But Apache Hadoop external tables, it is a virtual representation of the data. It is not uh, moving the data. You know, you see this line without moving the data into dedicated SQL pool. Dedicated SQL pool means Synapse Analytics. The problem is, if you see this, the solution must maximize performance. You see this performance? If performance is of utmost importance, which will perform better? Common sense. It is very logical to say native external table will perform better because the data itself gets moved inside the SQL pool. So the performance will be obviously better. Okay, but then why should we use uh, Apache Hadoop external files? If you want flexibility and separation between storage and compute layers, why do we do this? So that first we can reduce the load on compute. Why you reduce the load on compute? Because compute is expensive, storage is not expensive. So compute, uh, you can control that. So when performance is not of utmost importance and relatively cost is of at most importance, then you use this. Okay, we, now we understood native tables and Apache Hadoop external tables. So anything to do with Hadoop external table is wrong. Hadoop external table is wrong. So we have established this. We are able to eliminate two options. See the difference between account key, storage account key and SAS. Okay, what is the difference? See one very basic difference. SAS is temporary in nature. Storage account key is permanent in nature. Does anything tell in the question that we need temporary access? No. Does anything tell that we need permanent access? No. So using this, we cannot choose one over the other. Now, second difference we will talk about storage account key. It provides full administrative access to entire storage account. But shared access in nature will provide very often granular, like only this access, only read access, only write access to this and time limited access control to specific storage resources only. So that means it is more secured. And that is why we will choose SAS because we have to maximize performance and we don't need full administrative access to the data lake storage. We just want to read the file in account that's all that is the external table so this would be our answer so this is the youtube handle of this channel 650 plus videos on cloud certifications so do not forget and parts two and three are in the cloud ninja members area okay the link is in the description click that and become a cloud ninja member and gain access to those parts so in this question, it's again a Synapse Analytics question. So data engineering mostly is on Synapse. Now what you have to do, you have to create 
these tables and you need to maximize performance query performance so they have written this query okay we are telling us to choose what distribution should we choose from this and in this other query for country what should be our distribution the first query was on sales so for these two that is for sales and country we have to choose so country we just have 195 rows sales we have 100 million rows so remember sales you have to do something special because the data volume is very high see what is hash from the distribution standpoint so what happens data is divided into multiple smaller chunks of partitions okay on the values of a specified hash column they use one hash column for example like column id or employee id so the partitions are all consistent and from a performance perspective this is very good replicate distribution you know replicate means it will have uh, each partition will have or all data is replicated in all compute nodes each compute node will have all data so data will be replicated co copied again and again obviously such things are not good for performance uh, but very good for scenarios where you need high data availability fault tolerance suppose uh, one compute node is not performing your application can still access data from other compute node and this is good for space cases where low data movement over it is there so data is not again and again getting updated deleted and so on and then we have round robin data is distributed in all compute nodes within sql pool each row data is assigned to a compute node in a round robin fashion okay what are the scenarios useful scenarios are uh, where there is no significant correlation or relationship in our scenario there would be a relationship between sales and country because you would want to look at sales for a particular country so if you look at sales we have to do a hash hash on what order date or customer id we should do hash on customer id because that way the partitions will be consistently uh, filled order date suppose if there are only four order dates and major transaction happens for only two order dates then two two compute two partitions or two compute nodes the distribution on the compute node the two compute node will be heavily utilized the other two will not be heavily utilized that will not be good but customer id will keep it even across see for sales we have 100 million 100 million rows so we have to do something special we have to think cognizant about you know spreading the data across compute nodes evenly now the other thing country now country is what very small table country only has 195 rows so uh, performance need not worry because 195 rows uh, in even while sleeping these guys can do it so replicate is good because each compute node will have uh, entire copy 195 is nothing very small number of rows so you can reduce replicate and then this for sales this is the answer see this is a question on slowly changing dimension first let us look at what is slowly changing dimension so th this is a common technique in data warehousing to track historical changes for example you are a customer you have a address now you had an address which is new york and that got changed to new jersey now so in type 1 scd so in one uh, type 1 scd what will happen is the same row will be updated uh, the address the new york address will be updated with new jersey address you can never know what was the historical address but type 2 it will mean have that row it will update the start date and end date that it will say from this date from till this date this person's address was new york okay the current address is new jersey so it that is type 2 it will maintain historical changes and in order to maintain historical changes it will add effective dates that is start date and end date it has to add that start date and end date okay so these are the two fields this question is also asking the same it is telling which two columns should you add so we should add end date we should add start date simple i hope you got the concept so these two would be our answers if you have not yet subscribed do so you will uh, stay tuned to the latest certification content 
there is a link in the description click that and become cloud ninja member not cloud kernel for this certification content uh, this is an advanced certification because it is about data engineering you need to go for cloud ninja membership this brings us to the end of part four parts two and three are in the uh, cloud ninja members area become a member and gain access to it this brings us to the end of this part see you in the next part